Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of computer mouse in Autodesk Inventor. In this tutorial, we will learn different surfacing commands in Autodesk Inventor and construct this 3D part. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now take a 2D sketch and select the top plane, the exit plane, rotate the view. Now go to circle command, make here a circle of diameter 80 mm and here make a circle of diameter 100 mm and this side also a diameter of 100 mm. Okay. Now go to dimension from center this will be at the distance of 70 mm and this also at a distance of 70 mm from center. Now go to horizontal constraint, select the center point and select this center point. So they will be aligned to each other. Okay. Now go to dimension from center, they will be at a vertical height of 10 mm. Okay. And escape. Now go to trim command, trim this profile. Trim this profile, trim this and trim this. Okay. Now escape. Now go to dimensions once again. Define this again 40 and define this also as 40. Okay. Now go to fillet command. Take a fillet radius of 20. Select this and select this. Select this and select this. Select this arc and this, this and this. Okay, exit. Now finish sketch. So this will be the base of the profile. Now go to plane. We are going to construct a new plane. So take offset from plane. Go to origin. And select this top plane, the exit plane. Take offset plane at 30 mm. Okay, and press OK. Now select this top plane. Go to create sketch, rotate the view. Now from here, go to project geometry, project this bottom profile one by one. Select here, this, this and this last arc. Okay. Now escape. Now rotate the view. Here I think there is option. Select this sketch one, right click and turn off the visibility. Okay. So, the sketch on this plane will be left. Now go to top. To offset command, select this profile, drag the cursor outside and take offset of 3 mm. Enter. Escape. Double click this and click OK. So, it will change to 3 mm. Now, select the inner profile one by one, the projected profile. First, second. This, this, and this last. Okay, and make it construction geometry. Now, this will be the main profile. Now, go to circle command from the center point, make a circle of diameter 82 mm and escape. Now, we have two profiles, so we will merge both the profiles. So, go to trim command from here, we will take trim. Okay, select this outer profile from circle this this okay now similarly here this profile and this profile and this also now this will act as a closing profile and here also this profile now trim this and trim this so this will be the final profile now escape now here you can see it have sharp edges so go to fillet command take a 20 mm fillet Select this and select this, select this and select this, select here and here, select here and here. Okay, so it will be perfect round. Now escape. Now finish sketch. Now go to sketch one, turn on the visibility. Now go to loft command. Here we will take surface loft. So click here surface. 
go to selection select this profile and select this profile click here most tangent faces so it will be a smooth profile press ok so this will be the first surface profile now select this plane one right click turn off the visibility now we are going to construct the side profile so from side we will construct this arc profile ok go to part one now from here select yz plane go to create sketch and here go to line take spline command spline interpolation and from here make one spline till here and click on ok and escape now we have to project the side profiles so first go to home go to project geometry project this top and project this bottom go to right view now go to simple line command select this top point and select this bottom here also select this green top point and this bottom ok now escape now go to coincident select this point select this line select this point of spline and select this line ok now escape go to dimension from base this will be a height of 8 mm and this will be a height of 10 mm ok now this middle point will be a height of 29 and here from center point this will be a horizontal distance of 23 mm ok so this will be the final profile escape drag 23 dimension upward ok so this will be the final first curve now finish sketch as we have made one curve here now we are going to make two new planes so go to plane take offset from plane select the yz plane and we are going to construct a offset plane at 30 mm so a new plane will be generated here from top i will show you so this is the base of the plane and this will be the new plane press ok similarly go to plane again offset from plane go to home select yz plane and take minus 30 mm and press ok so we have two planes on this side and other this side now select any of the planes select this plane go to create sketch now here go to project geometry project this project this go to line command take spline interpolation make one spline one point here and one point here click ok go to dimension from base this will be a height of 6 mm and this will be a height of 8 mm from base and here the center point will be at a height of ok escape go to dimension the center point from bottom will be a height of 20 and the horizontal dimension will be 20 escape now finish sketch now we have this sketch the new sketch which we have generated we want this same sketch on this plane also so select this plane go to create sketch just simply go to project geometry and project this spline and finish ok the same profile will be generated here now from here go to uh, boundary patch select this select this middle and select this third and press ok ok so this will be the middle profile go to home 
Now hide the planes, select plane 3, right click, turn off the visibility, plane 2, right click, turn off the visibility. Now we will split this body in two parts. So go to split, select this as splitting tool and for face, select this face, press ok. So this will be the first part from right we will show and this will be the second part, ok. Now go to trim surface and here select this cutting tool and select this face to remove the top face and press ok. Okay. So this will be the profile left. Now we will trim this also or hide this boundary patch one right click turn off the visibility. So we will work with this. Now go to boundary patch once again. Select this profile, so it will close this, apply, rotate and select this bottom and press OK. So this will be a closed profile now. OK. So after this, we will stitch the profile, go to stitch, select this complete profile, apply and done. Now go to fillet command and take here a radius of 4 mm. Go to edge selection and select this top edge, apply. Now take radius of 2 mm, go to edge selection and select this bottom. Rotate the view. So here a 2 mm radius will be applied and press OK. OK. Now we will shell this profile from inside. So we will take shell. OK. So we have taken inside shell and remove face and the thickness here will be mentioned 1.5 mm ok so automatically the software will shell inside you can see a light red color from right view i'll show you so you can see a right red red color here and press ok ok go to home now to check the shell go to view Take half section view and select the YZ plane. Go to right view. Now you can see a hollow profile has been constructed inside. Exit. Home. OK. Now we are going to construct this cut profiles. So we will select the working plane 1. Go to create sketch. Take line command from this center point till here. Make one line. Escape. Now this is not properly made. Go to coincident. Select this point and select this point. Go to vertical. Select this for vertical constraint. Escape. Now select this or just select this project geometry. And here go to coincident. Select this point and select this arc. Escape. OK. Now select this arc. Make it construction geometry. Now from here, take the rectangle command. Take two point center rectangle. When you drag the rectangle, you can see here a green point. So here, make a rectangle profile. Go to dimension. Define this as 2 mm. Escape. Now to make it fully constrained, select this point, select coincident at this point and this line. OK. Now go to 3D model, take extrude, select this profile and here take cut. Take a cut depth of 25 mm and press OK. OK. So cut will be made here. Now we are going to construct this cut for the ball or the roller you can say. Again go to plane 1, go to create sketch and here we will take again two point center rectangle. Make a rectangle profile, go to dimension from this center point 
this center will be at a distance of 20 mm the height of this rectangle will be 16 and the width will be of 6 mm go to vertical constraint select this point and select this center point it is fully constrained now now go to fillet we'll take a fillet radius of 2 select this edge and select this select this and this this and this and select this and this exit now go to 3d model extrude flip the direction this also will take a cut of 25 mm and press ok ok now here we will give a radius so go to 3d model take fillet command from here take fillet take a fillet radius of 1 mm go to edge selection select this edge rotate and select this edge ok now rotate the profile now we are going to make the roller so select the yz plane to make the roller and go to create sketch go to view visual style change it to wireframe now go to sketch again take circle command make a circle profile over here and here the diameter of the roller will be 15 mm the center of the roller from the center point will be at a distance of 19 and from base this will be at a height of 10.5 m ok now we will finish the sketch go to view visual style change it to shaded with edges go to 3d model extrude we will take a symmetric extrude here take a distance of 5 mm ok from top this will look like this ok go to home now press ok or do one thing make it a new solid and press ok ok now we have to make it all round so go to fillet take here a fillet radius of 2.5 as it is a total extrude of 5 now select this edge and select this edge press ok so this is all round now now here i think we have completed all the things okay we'll give a chamfer over here so go to chamfer take here a chamfer distance of 1 mm go to edge selection select this edge and select this edge and press ok ok so this will be the final profile ok from here you can see now we will define the color so for color go to defaults from here we will take opal type op so you will see a opal color ok now select this face rotate the view select this radius and select this base from here we will take the black color for this profile so anodize black rotate select this fillet from here we will take light red ok select the light red so this will be a complete profile now so this was a basic tutorial to how to make a computer mouse in autodesk inventor software using autodesk inventor surfacing i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you